going on? Fixing the door. Oh, what's wrong with it? Binds the tops of it. Drive me crazy. You hear from social services yet? No, and that's not why I'm doing this. I just asked. One psychologist in the house is usually enough. You know you've got the job. Some job. Nine communities, no administrative backup. So you'll make your own program. Out of what? String and tin cans? Andrew, if you don't want it. It's not what I said. Morning. Aboriginal Shield. Provide support for native youth against alcohol and drug abuse. Good program. Carmi is very big on it. Thing is, I should have got on this a lot sooner. Kids like William and Brenda, you gotta get to them early before the pattern gets established. Mm. Not much of a holiday, all of this. Oh, are you kidding? I had a great time. Spent the day with Cormier and the guys shooting the breeze, getting caught up. I ate in a restaurant. Saw a movie, like a real person. Did you see Rosemary? She needs a little time on her own. This long-distance marriage thing is tough. You get too used to being apart, maybe. Anyway, rec center, coffee shop. Should be posters all over town. Colo Atas. <laughs> Not money. What? Lumber. 60 cents a board foot. Jar. They're not going to take two by fours. No. See, that way they have to help us find the buyer. You can't mess around with these guys, okay? Yeah, well, I don't see you coming up with any bright ideas. Whoa! Whoa. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Trout almondine. A trout quiche. And there's baked trout with uh, lemon and dill. No. Look, Sandra promised me half a dozen fish, and I know you could use them. Fish isn't money, Sarah, and your tab's getting way too high. You know, okay, just, just a few things. Pan-fried trout sounds real good to me. Okay. For six fish. Thanks, Rosie. Thank you. Oh. They're beautiful. Thanks. Another burger and fries, okay? Some milk, too. Thank you. Did that job come through? Looks like it. You gonna have to move? No, a week or two, three weeks out. A lot of flying. Yeah. Maybe you could uh, stay around and make jewelry. <laughs> it's a limited market. A couple of months, everybody'd be looking like Liberace. Oh, Susan McGlucard. Aboriginal Shield. It's a new drug awareness program for young people. It's been very successful. It's all about uh, community involvement. I'll pin it up over here. Thanks, Rosie. Welcome back. Nice work. Should get you to make one of these for Rosemary. Sure, just let me know. Saw. It wasn't on. He fell on it. He left it in a really dangerous place. On the oh. ground? What is oh. this? It's my shirt. God, that's gross. It's all I have. <sighs> okay, get the keys to the health center, please. Oh, it hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> it's numb. I can't feel it. What did you do to me? 1% xylocaine with epinephrine. Huh? Anesthetic, Jer. I feel sick. You'll be fine. <clears throat> 
What if it gets infected? Well, we'll just have to cut your arm off. You wash your hands, right? Jerry. Come on, she's living in a tent. She smells like an old moccasin. What do you say I just take the stitches out, Jer, and we forget about the whole thing? Look, he's sorry. He can't help being a jerk. Hi. What's up? Nothing. They called. The interview's tomorrow. They're sending a charter. I told you. You want to talk about this? But what? Andrew's going to be away a lot. You're going to have to get used to it. So am I. It's the same for Rosie and Leon. He spends half the year in Simpson. Where are you going? Out. Charlie. Rec center. Fletcher's back. So, what happens now? We wait. Why'd you tell me to sleep with him if nothing's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. What? His wife isn't coming back. They split. Cool, eh? You didn't screw him. I did. What are you doing here? Sorry about your wife. What about my wife? Leaving you. I didn't mean for that to happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Rosemary and I are still together. It's just a bad patch. Every marriage goes through it. I thought she knew. Knew what? About us. What about us? It wasn't my idea. It wasn't your idea to what? Nothing. Nothing. You've been dreaming things up again, Brenda? Didn't I talk to you about that? How dangerous that can be? Spreading rumors, telling lies? I didn't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? Nothing. Nothing. Good. That's good. Because we both know nothing happened. Thank you. You guys are doing such a great job. Thanks for the nails. Who wants a cookie? Me. <laughs> Mmm, go ahead. <laughs> Sit. 
Sarah, done, Andy. Thank you. Wow, it's, uh, it's beautiful. The trout would have been fine. Took a long time to make the basket. It's a very special gift. Thank you. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, take a look. stuff is amazing, Elsie. You should be selling it. What stuff? Mother Elsie's healing ointment. So what do you say? We, uh, go into business together. I don't know about business. Health food stores. That's who you sell it to. You don't know about business either. Well, what do we got to lose? We got to do something for money. Who said anything about a plan? She wants to box the money. It's none of our business. What do I tell her? Whatever you want. So long as she keeps her mouth shut. William? Unless you can't handle her. I can handle her. Yeah, you should have seen her, Peter. It's like Grizzly Adams doing brain surgery. But she did it. Oh, yeah, she did a great job. Did you ever hear of Muskrat Landing? I think I met the band manager once. Well, first they lost their detachment, then they lost their post office, and then the health center, and the town just kept getting smaller until there was nothing left. The last five families, they'll leave next month. Well, you saying we're next? Nope. You're next. <laughs> and then me. We can't afford to lose this health center. We need a nurse here. We're not gonna get one. We already have one. Sarah? Hmm? A confidence evaluation. A couple of interviews, she'll be back in business. Mackenzie Health is not gonna budget a full-time nurse. Well, we don't ask them for a full-time nurse. We ask them for a community health rep, part-time. No living allowance and minimal benefits. It's probably under 30,000. I might go for it. I can only ask. She's gonna want a house. We can't give her a house. She's on the list. She's last on the list. She's going to want to get bumped up. That's a problem. We're doing her a favor. That's all she needs to know. You talk to Albert? What do you say? He said, wait. Where are you going? I'm sick of waiting. Hey. Take it easy. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm getting out of here. Or I'm going to Michelle. You're not going anywhere. And you're gonna keep your mouth shut, okay? Okay? Sorry. Everything's gonna be okay. You just gotta wait. That's all. You said trout. I know. But, uh, you know, pies, pancakes. No. No. No more credit. Oh, come on, Jer. A dozen stitches, and it's gonna be worth something. I don't have to pay for health care. This is Canada. Wait till the infection sets in. You said it wouldn't. Well, you get what you pay for. No. You get what I pay for. Of course, I, you know, could come by tomorrow, make sure it's all right, but, uh... 
course, if I wait till gangrene sets in, you'd have no choice. Not the basket. No? No, uh, well, it's a gift. Fine. So is this. All right, all right. You know, Jer, you're getting worse in your old age. Can I talk to you a minute, Sarah? Yeah. They take me back. Pass a competence evaluation, pay up your union dues, which we'll cover for you. You're back. Why? We know the times are tough. The truth is, I've got a lot of respect. Peter, it's me. We need a nurse. You need a job. You're already stitching Jerry's arm, uh, treating Mavis's skin rash, Sanders dog bite. You might as well get paid for it. But there's not enough money in the budget for a full-time nurse. No, but there is money for a community health rep. Oh, since when? You're a band member now. That's no living expenses, no subsidized travel. On paper, it makes us look good. And the union said it was okay? They know our situation. It's a creative solution to a thorny budget problem. And 25000 a year for you. So... $25,000 a year. <laughs> I don't even remember how much money $25,000 is anymore. Wow. Of course. I'll do it. Of course. Of course. Where's Charlie? He went fishing. I told him it was all right. I'll talk to him. What's the matter with me talking to him? Well, I don't turn this into a big thing. Well, it is a big thing. Why don't we just deal with it? You think I want to do this? You applied for the job. Well, what am I supposed to do? Make jewelry? Well, you know what you got to do. So do I. Oh, my God. Watch out. Get out of the way. Oh, oh, get out of Folks okay? Yes, I think so. Shoot! What the hell happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, no brakes in the son of a... Um, uh, Mr. Mizuguchi and his wife, uh, Mika, they're from Imabari, Japan. Pleased to meet you. Canadian Arctic in two and a half days. I'm the Watson Lake to Yellowknife Lake. Uh, when do we go again? You, very soon, a couple of minor repairs. We're going to be on our way. Hey, you just crashed a plane. Oh. Hell, this isn't a crash. I've been in a lot of crashes. This this is not... I've got an interview in Yellowknife. Don't worry. I'll just work it out and we'll be on our way. What are you writing? Just think of it as a parking ticket. This this isn't going to go to Transport Canada Enforcement now. Is it? They should pay you to be the nurse. You do it anyway. Yeah, well, nobody pays you when you're the pharmacist. Must be nice. How much you getting? I don't know exactly. It's, uh, I guess it's sort of a part-time thing. So, uh, what are you supposed to do with all that? Well, we can still sell it. Yeah, right. Kiko Tzedi.
Toxic insult to the brain. Well, there's not a lot more I can do. Just wait for her to wake up. What's happened? Gas. What are you looking at me for? I thought she was your girlfriend. I'm supposed to take care of her. Brian! What the hell was that about? It just burns me up. I see a kid do that. Brenda? Will you? You think she'd be in there right now if you wasn't around? Hey, easy. Sorry. I don't know. I guess it's this thing with Rosemary. It's a little on the... Brake line snap. It's a bush fix. Reflare the hands and uh, we're back to business. What about the wings? Oh, well, um, that's going to be a bit more uh, complicated. I have to be in Yellowknife tomorrow by 11 a.m. Look, I'm doing my best. There's only so much. Uh, it could be a while, maybe um, overnight. She's not having fun. She wants to go to BAM, ride the bus to Columbia Icefields. But I want a real Canadian adventure. I tell you what, since you're stuck here overnight, come to my house tonight for dinner. Moose meat. Thank you. You leave first thing in the morning, right? Ah. Yeah, right. Deja vu. Hmm. Me too. There's a <clears throat> Dr. Ogden flying in from Simpson tomorrow to do the interview. Assessment. He said it's pretty straightforward. I know exactly what it is. I used to ace them. Good smile, nice teeth. You'll be fine. I want a house. You're on the list. A deadline. Do you want a nurse? Yes, I do. I'll call Ogden and tell him to cancel. Peter, I want a propane fridge. And I think Elsie should be paid, too. You're right. I want to get out of here. Jesus, you you don't rip an IV out of your arm. I'm okay. Oh, yeah, and if you were okay, you wouldn't be in here. You know, why don't you just stay here? Just stay here, rest, rest, just, you know, forget about William. Sarah, great news about your uh, new old job. Uh, well, it's not a sure thing yet. Just... Whatever you say. Hi. Congratulations. Thanks. You uh, probably want to pick up a few things. Credit oh. is not a problem anymore. It's great to see someone get back on their feet after all you've been through.
found you at the health center. I need to talk to somebody. Okay. Uh, is it William? Is he hurting you? Hi, Brenda. Didn't think you'd be up walking around so soon. So, what's up? Sorry, I can go do something else if you two want to talk. Brenda! Somebody back in Yellowknife must have scared that kid. Cop, probably. I'm a cop. I mean, a guy. You see the way she looked at me? Kid like that, who knows what happened to her? Maybe you should go after her. What were you doing in there? Let go. What did you say? Nothing. I just want out of here, okay? William! What the hell is going on? In your business. What did you want to talk about? Nothing. Hey, you came in for a reason. Leave me alone, all right? Brenda! She's scared of what? You? What did you do to her? We had a fight. Did you hit her? No. I wouldn't hit her. We just had a fight, okay? What the hell is going on? None of your business. Are you going to charge me or what? Okay, that'd be great, hon. A dollar in mail, okay? My mom says you're rich. <laughs> Talking about bumpy rides. Coming from Wrigley to Simpson, we were flying real low, eh? Had a case of beer in the back, well, I hit this downdraft and wham! Smashed every bottle on the roof of the plane. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, Michelle. Thank you for a great party. We have a present from Japan. For you and your husband. Sake. Dozo. Domoro arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Much for Uh, thank you. Noriyoshi. Uh, have to go. Thank you. Japanese believe that it's good luck to conceive a child under the Northern Lights. Oh. So, what about the interview? They said a day or so, no big deal. They said it's just a formality. Good. My wife is a very religious person. So am I. When I played hockey, a lot of things happened with women. Oh, you were all young. Still. There were some things I wouldn't do. Rosemary and I were very close back then. years in the force. 
I have done some good work. I gotta get out of this business. The plane needs an overhaul. I got transport cannon on my ass. That's tight. Yeah, for what? For taking out the odd building every now and then? Okay, come on, let's go. Job, Charlie. He's got to work. Why can't he work here? Because there's no jobs here. He wants to go away. It's not true. shrink, huh? You mind if I ask you something? I have this dream all the time. Well, not all the time, maybe five, six times. I'm, I'm with this woman, but she's not my wife. It's uh, Tammy Wasaki. I went to high school with her, and uh, anyway, we're in Paris, and she wants to take me shopping for shoes. But uh, i never been to Paris before. So, there we are. So basically, there was the one episode three years ago, and nothing since. Yeah, I went bush for a while. I still am, for that matter. <laughs> but then again, so is everybody else around here. Well, I'd be worried if you hadn't. <laughs> Sarah, <clears throat> Sarah was our full-time nurse for five years. Yeah, I saw the uh, stitches you did on Jerry. Some pretty nice work. Okay, so there's also the issue of your professional dues, but I understand the band's taking care of that. Is that right? That's right. Okay, then there's just some forms I will need you to sign here. Sure. And we're waiving the living allowance, right? Right. Okay, in that case, I just need some more personal... I'm sure she's coming. I'm too busy for that job. I've got a million things to do around here before winter. He's still there. Oh, I don't want to do government again, Peter. The white money cow. Moo, moo, moo. I've done that. Sarah, this town is dying one office at a time. We need to keep the health center open. Oh, I see. Now I see. Why didn't you just tell me in the first place? Well saying it now because i might ask for a house right i thought you needed the money <laughs> i do i do but <sighs> i can't do this peter i wish i could but i can't just trust me what look at me i, I i'm not a nurse not anymore But I, um, I can still take care of people. You know, like a janitor. Pay me for a few hours a week. The health center stays open. I make a few bucks. No forms, no files. 
Take it or leave it. Deal. Do I still get a fridge? No. Where is she? You pick her up? No. Fletcher, where is he? What happened? She's gone. Can't find her anywhere. Brian, what's the 20? Brian, come in, please. Rosemary stuff. Clothes, comb, brush. Float plane from Wolverine Lake to Yellowknife. Uh, some fishermen. I, I talked to the pilot. And then what? Just thousand dollars in there. That'll get you to Toronto. Or farther, if that's what you want. You came on to me. It was you who made this happen. Why did you do it? I've been trying to find you. Oh, shoot. Forgot to turn it on. What's up? Brenda's missing. No, no, it's okay. I found her. Oh. I, I don't know. I, I got to thinking about the program. The Aboriginal Shield. How well it's doing up in Yellowknife. And poor Brenda's here, sinking fast. What did you do? I put her on a plane to Toronto. She's got family there. I figured at least she might have a chance. Where'd she get the money? I gave her some. I know it was probably a stupid thing to do, but... I, I, I had to help her out somehow. Did you get an address, a name? I tried. She wouldn't give me one. You think I did the wrong thing? I don't know. Jump in, I'll give you a drive back. She's gone. Son of a bitch must have killed her. You think? She wouldn't just go like that. Not without telling me. I heard she jumped a float plane out of Wolverine Lake. Going where? What difference does it make? Jesus, she's my girlfriend. So you get another one. It's better this way. She was getting nervous. She's gone. Forget her. So, how'd it go? I took the controls going in. It was beautiful. I meant the interview. I didn't go. What? No job? I bought the plane. I remember today how much I love to fly. One Sky Aviation, is that a natural or what? I'll start a charter business out of Lynx River.
Michelle. You can't just do that. Do what? Go off and come back as someone else. What are you gonna be next week? A fireman, an astronaut? I need to know that you're going to be here. I didn't come up here to be a therapist or a pilot. I came here for you. You're the only reason. I don't want to be a therapist anymore. If somebody needs me, I won't turn away. But the only dreams that I want to hear about are yours and Charlie's. Somehow, we got to learn to trust each other. I'm stepping off a cliff here. And you're taking us with you. Sorry, it's so late. I just... I just, uh... I was wondering... I've been having trouble sleeping. Oh, ah. Uh, oh, I don't, um... I don't have pills or anything. 